the 40th uh, Congress of ATA. And as you know, ATA is the African uh, Travel Association, which is an association that Kenya was part, uh, established it in 1976. And so it has grown ever since. Uh, basically, ATA is based in North America, but it's got membership from all over the world. These are travel agents and stakeholders in the travel industry that sell Africa from other parts of the world. And so we have the world here today. It's very important for us because every 10 years, Kenya indeed does uh, host this Congress. Uh, and, and so being the 40th, meaning that we've, this is the fourth time that we're holding it here. It's very important for us because uh, as a strong partner, it helps us to position Kenya, to sell Kenya all over the world and to have the all over the world to come and sample our product and to come and see for themselves uh, really what Kenya is all about in terms of tourism. And so we expect to use this uh, Congress to uh, again increase our uh, tourism into Kenya. Uh, we have other, other uh, you know, uh, members who are members of, of uh, countries within Africa who've come here, ministers from other parts of, of, of Africa. And so uh, it, 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 it's, it, uh, we have um, invitations. We have actually the Minister of um, uh, Tourism from Uganda. We have the Minister of Tourism from Côte d'Ivoire. We have the Deputy Minister from uh, Zimbabwe. We have uh, Malawi here. And um, we have also Rwanda here. Um, and we did expect other countries like Seychelles and so forth. But they were not able to come. But we still expect some more to come to here today. And so we have about uh, 30 countries uh, represented here. Um, a very important Congress indeed, indeed and we're very happy uh, with uh, the, the, the representation and the number of people who have come. Okay, uh, Eddie Bergman, I'm the Executive Director of the Africa Travel Association, and we're honored to be here in Kenya celebrating our 40th Congress. Uh, we brought delegates from throughout the world, however, uh, many from North America, from the travel industry, uh, who have come to Kenya to see it for themselves. Uh, the uh, perception of Kenya internationally, uh, unfortunately, through the, the media, uh, requires a lot of this outreach work that we're doing and to try to tell the truth about what's happening on the ground here. And this is why we're here. We've brought media, we've got private sector stakeholders, people that are ready to invest here in Kenya and do business. And uh, we're, we're here and we're, we're, we're ready, willing, and able. And we've come here and uh, to see what's happening. And we're incredibly impressed just with the progress that's been made uh, in this country just in the last couple of years and, and listening to the Deputy President's speech today, uh, really tangible, factual uh, uh, initiatives that, uh, that, have, that have happened, uh, progress that has been made uh, in, in, in easing tourism restrictions and growing the industry, and, in, uh, in, in, which all leads to the creation of jobs and to the, uh, to the growth of this industry.